from lighting, we turn our attention to something totally different. We're not only looking at cameras, we're looking at 360 degree cameras. And we're looking at something which is almost holographic. His name is Michael Shaben. He's the marketing director for Insta3D. Michael, thanks for joining us today. Happy to be here. Tell us what Insta3D, uh, sorry, Insta360 is. Insta360 is uh, the leading manufacturer of 360 degree cameras from small uh, action cameras to larger, more professional systems that record up to 8K and 11K in 3D. Now, why do you say you're the leading manufacturer? I would say other 360 camera would say the same thing. Um, it, purely by our sales volume and our market saturation, we're in over 150 countries around the world. Um, and uh, what makes us unique is we are the company that's democratizing 360, meaning price point, ease of use, and power. The combination of those three is making it a truly uh, ubiquitous product that everybody can use. So what would be applications for your cameras? We run the gamut. So anywhere from live broadcasting and doing multicam solutions with 180 degrees and 360 degrees all the way through to action sports and just using it as a consumer-friendly camera. (laughs) Well, you have brought a couple props. So let us describe in words what these props are because one of them looks like a rocket and one of them looks like a cane. So what do we got here? These two products are um, essentially the culmination of a series of technologies that we've built over the last four and a half years. Our company is still relatively new. Uh, One camera that you're looking at is our bread and butter. It's called the Insta360 ONE X. The ONE X. What makes this camera super unique is that it's not positioned as a... Super unique. Not not just unique, unique, but super unique. It's it's incredible because... um, (laughs) You're looking at this camera and you're saying, okay, there's one lens on one side and one lens on the other side. This Uh is a 360 camera, but we don't call it a 360 camera. We call it an action camera that just happens to shoot in 360 because it's all about taking the 360 imagery and pulling the best 2D frames out of it. So what that means for video creators, you don't need huge crews to pull off advanced cinematic shots. You can reframe all of your 360 content in post. Okay, I'm not totally sure I'm following, so try that one more time. You're taking a 360 shot, but you're turning it into a 2D piece of video? Exactly. So we're using the 360 to create pan shots, dolly shots, tracking shots, traditional cinematic shots, but that you normally wouldn't be able to get without tons of equipment doing that for you. So if you wanted to do a pan shot, you need like a gimbal head, or you need a dolly, or you need some other equipment with your camera. But because we're looking at it from the inside of a sphere, as I'm passing across the sphere, I'm able to move, even though it's a static 360 shot, I'm able to move the camera in 2D space around it. Exactly. So you're capturing everything around you, and then you're only pulling out the stuff that you care about later. What resolution are you capturing? With this tiny little camera that weighs, uh, oh man, ounces, you're you're doing 5.7K video at 30 frames, and then you can shoot high frame rate all the way up to 100 frames per second. So a 5K image and 100 frames a second? 5.7K 30, 4K 30 and 50, and 3K 100. Oh my goodness. 3K 100. Absolutely. So you're able to get true slow motion shots all from this tiny little camera that costs $399. This camera looks like it's a a fish, actually, uh, or a torpedo. I haven't decided which. Which part is the camera and which is the stand? So the camera fits quite nicely into this uh, accessory that looks like an old school Nerf football. This is the actual camera. Which is about the size of a TV, a small TV remote, an Apple TV remote. It's tiny, right? It fits in the palm of your hand. Now, this accessory is unique because... Which is the fish-like thing. The the football fish-like thing. (laughs) um, This is the world's first throwable camera. (laughs) Why do we want to throw a camera? I have enough trouble getting a steady shot as it is. This essentially replaces the need for a cable cam, a drone. You're, you're getting shots that never before were possible, even with traditional film equipment. And because this, this uh, container is rubber, when it lands, the, the camera tends not to shatter. Exactly. And in, in response to your question, why not? <laughs> 
So what else have you got that's new at the show for us? Well, the other camera that you're looking at here is called the Insta360 Evo. The Evo is a similar size as the One X, except it shoots 180 degrees 3D. And 3D, as everyone knows, is a growing trend in the industry right now. Everybody wants to start shooting 3D. But 3D in the past was only possible with these giant clunky rigs that most people didn't either have the budget for or didn't know how to operate. Putting it inside of a consumer product makes it accessible for everybody. And then we pair it with this phone case that's on my phone right now. It's a lenticular case, and it allows you to turn your 3D photos and videos into holographic images. So it's the case that's allowing it to look like it's 3D. Absolutely. And so basically what's really cool about this case is you can wear it as a normal phone case as a protector. And then you can take it off, flip it around, and the back of the case is actually the lenticular display. And you put it over the front display of your iPhone. And you're looking at 3D on an iPhone. You're looking not just at 3D, but at holographic projections. <laughs> so, so let me take to it one the, step further for okay, you. Take it one step further. So the market for 183D is still quite untested. So when a, when a consumer decides, do I want to buy this camera just for the 3D, it's a hard choice for them. So what we've done is we've actually made this a convertible camera. So it flips and becomes a, a 360 camera. So you can shoot both 180 and 360. The camera itself is maybe a square that's an inch and a half on all sides. And the camera's on opposite sides. Or when you open it back up so it's flat, you're seeing two cameras looking at you to give you the 3D. And it shoots 180 degree field of view. At 5.7K. What's our pricing? So uh, the pricing on the One X, uh, it starts at $399 US. And the uh, Evo is a similar price, and it comes with bundles and kits that average about $439. And both are released? Both are available now for purchase and are in market, yes. And I don't mean to, to, to short-circuit you. Are there any other new announcements you've got for the show besides these two? We, we have a couple of announcements on our ultra-high-end solution offering. So um, we announced about a year ago a camera called Titan. Titan is a spherical camera. It's a ball-shaped camera. It's about uh, 10 to 12 inches in diameter. It has eight micro four-thirds cameras around it that each shoot five, 5K resolution. Together, they can produce a five, uh, an 11K stereoscopic image. 11K, wow. 